In the base game, it's fairly easy to break a block in Minecraft. You just get a pickaxe in the case of stone. You left click on the block and then it just breaks. Well, on a multiplayer server, that's not the case in a lot of places. There's build protections. You try to break a block it instantly just comes back the event gets cancelled on hypixel skyblock that is the case but there is a way to get around that skyblock players in the midst of their obsession with fast progress found a bug that is in vanilla minecraft that allows you to bypass this protection and essentially walk through walls when you're not supposed to. So the way it works is on a Minecraft server, there are what's called events for everything in the game, including eating a piece of food, breaking a block, spawning a mob, whatever. And one of these events is the block break event, which on a multiplayer server gets canceled if you break a block in an area that's not supposed to have that block broken. Now, that is how the server processes things, but on the client or your own computer, that block for an instant is technically still broken, which means if you were to say have a pickaxe that instantly mines a block and you were to stand halfway through the block, maybe inside of a staircase, or in some instances, just bouncing your way into that block, you can shift through the block you can actually walk through the wall a solid wall so in the base game a good example of this is an efficiency 5 diamond pick with maybe haste 2 and then you can insta break stone right there's a big difference between one or two ticks and instant because you can break dozens of blocks at once so in the event of hypixel sky block you actually have the ability to get to efficiency 10 which kind of breaks the way that the game works and it allows you to not only instantly break stone but stone bricks stone brick slabs iron blocks gold blocks even iron bars if you use a specific pet that gives haste it's pretty wild so i'm gonna show what happens when you take a game that doesn't let you walk through walls and you force your way through anyways and just how overpowered it is for dungeons it essentially lets you skip a ton of progression do things extremely fast and since it's a vanilla bug it technically isn't enforceable with the anti-cheat at least in its current form so it's perfectly legal at the moment as far as i know the admins are okay with it but yeah this is a really neat mechanic and the way it's done is with efficiency 10. now the way you get efficiency 10 in hypixel skyblock is with an item called the silex which increases the level of efficiency on a tool by one and gives it one breaking power if you were to say take a pickaxe that already has efficiency 5 and then add 5 silex you get efficiency 10 which opens the door to all sorts of funny shenanigans like you're about to see. Enjoy. So here's how you make a ghost pick. Just realized last second I didn't uh, do this yet. Pick any two slots in the hot bar. I'm choosing slots seven and eight. You hover over the slot on the left with the pickaxe. And then I press the seven and eight keys on my keyboard one after another. So seven, eight. And then I can use the one on the left as my ghost pick. There was an update recently that added the gold essence shop and as you can see i'm pretty decently far along i have eager miner 10 unbreaking 5. those are the only two i really care about to be honest midas slur is completely useless to me because i already have gold hunter armor um this one eh, if i decide to level a pet with mining i don't know it's still faster to use catechist feeder so that's kind of useless too um i already have scathe the pet this is really the only thing I could benefit from, but even then, no one really plays healer, so I'm gonna struggle to get healer XP anyway, so isn't that cool? But that was one of the two essence shops they added. The other one is in the Crystal Hollows. If we head over here, we have Gemma for the Diamond Essence Shop. Now, this one I haven't finished. I do need this. Radiant Fisher, I need to max out because we do need Diamond Trophy Fish, but I've maxed out Return to Sender, and we got High Roller that's probably the most important perk here especially considering if you look at my backpack slots here i am preparing i am preparing we're not done yet i need to get up to here to be done but i've been preparing 
Uh, we're going to be trying some Nucleus runs soon, hopefully, for Alloy. We'll see about that. We do need four of these to get one museum entry for uh, Perfect T13. It, I'm not sure how useful that would be. But yeah, we're definitely going to have to get this. But anyways, in order to get all of that essence, I had to do a lot of hardstone mining. And I mean a lot. Now, it's ironic that I actually got a perk to help some Nucleus runs because while I was powder grinding to get all of the essence, I also just so happened to get 250 at least of every single robot part in the game. So I did the double whammy right there. I got the robot parts and the essence and also a third thing that you're about to see right here. This is 36 concentrated stone. That's enough to make four Silexes. It's one of the most annoying crafting recipes in the game, to be honest, because if I were to view recipe Silex. Okay. Concentrated stone. There we go. So, to make one of these, you need nine stacks of enchanted hardstone. And to make one of these, you need nine stacks of hardstone. And hardstone's not affected by mining fortune, so good luck doing that. But I did it. I managed to do it. And then nine silexes oh, makes one or nine concentrated stone makes one silex when applied to a pickaxe or a drill increases its efficiency by one. So we're gonna make four of these. Oh, they don't stack. Nice. You might notice. My auspicious titanium drill DRX655 recombed with all the works isn't actually done with the works because it only has efficiency six and fortune three. Hopefully we're going to get a fortune four during those nucleus runs to fix that. But right now we're going to do this. Efficiency seven, eight, nine, and 10 beautiful we just gave ourselves an efficiency 10 titanium drill drx655 and chat's freaking out i wish the people in the video could see it but the extension that makes my chat appear below my face doesn't work everyone's giving no why would you do that you're throwing i have bamboozled you chat all right i'm aware of where silexes are supposed to be used this is the secondary goal of the day I did so much powder grinding, in fact, that what I just did doesn't even make a dent in these. This is 45 more <laughs> concentrated stone. I got you all. I might be the guy that skipped on a fatal tempo, but I'm not that stupid. Silex times one, two, three, four, and five. <laughs> I still have 16,800 enchanted hardstone. I'm a freaking maniac, okay? I did so much powder grinding. I mean, look at the overflow powder with a max heart of the mountain tree. Then now to people that aren't educated, this is gonna look even more stupid, but hear me out, okay? We're gonna take two vanilla sticks, three diamonds, and we're gonna make a normie regular vanilla diamond pickaxe. Breaking power four, mining speed plus 200, 20, 30 damage. Now, why would I want one of these? Why would I want a diamond pickaxe? Well, you might have heard of the term stonking in the past. There exists some bugs that let you goof around in the game a little bit, kind of break it. For example, let's say I wanted to do something kind of funny. Let's say, I don't know. I'll grab a, a stone block or something. I'll do this. Now, if I were to do that, I've just created two pickaxes out of one. And if I stand here, huh, isn't that odd? I've just fallen through the floor. <laughs> you can use this to dig through walls perhaps ghost picking's a funny little bug i'm gonna show what it does in dungeons later but this only has efficiency six on it which can insta mine things like stone as you can see here it can mine through hard stone 
not the slabs though i've noticed various blocks now the thing is a diamond pickaxe has a higher vanilla breaking power than a gold one so what happens when you get a high level of efficiency with a diamond pickaxe suddenly you can break iron blocks diamond blocks instant Lee. A lot of people are saying Lapis Pick, and I'm gonna break the YouTuber illusion here. Why Lapis Pickaxe? Because Lapis Pickaxe has <laughs> the same amount of breaking power. It actually has less mining speed. It gives you more XP. And it's a custom item in the game that is at risk of at any time the admins deciding to change its material. The admins could wake up one day and say, you know, the lapis pickaxe doesn't make much sense. It's diamond. Let's make it stone. They could do that. So unless there's a good reason, I'm going to break high pixel sky blocks mechanics with a normal diamond pickaxe. Sorry, not sorry. Let's make it a clean efficiency 10 diamond pickaxe with nothing else. No reforges, no nothing. Perfectly clean. Ooh, Ooh this is going to be, this is going to be weird. Efficiency six. Seven. <laughs> Eight. Nine. Ten. Woo. Efficiency ten diamond pickaxe. This is great. <laughs> I don't have recoms. We're not going to recom this. Also, there's like a billion other items that need it. So, fun fact, by the way, efficiency six and efficiency 10, as far as I know, are the exact same. Like you probably noticed the mining speed didn't change at all. And neither did its breaking power. So it, it's already bugged to begin with. But the funny thing about diamond i already said this is that we can insta mine more blocks so let's let's get the stonk out now we're gonna test this in dugans we are gonna test it so don't you worry about that okay we can insta mine oh look at that we can insta mine the slabs first difference look at that oh gold blocks you cannot do that with a stonk now watch this if i were to now it's just permagon. No, of course it's not literally permagon. If I right click it, it reappeared. Now that's the utility of this. This is a dream for people that play a Dugans. Speaking of Dugans, I think it's time we step into one. Now, just to show this off, I'm gonna enter a floor seven by myself. I don't fully know how to take advantage of this thing, but luckily Badline introduced a mod recently. That's essentially a secret routes mod. Let's ignore all the common practices of like how to complete an entire dungeon as a team. I'm here to demonstrate the di uh, the efficiency 10 diamonds. So we're going to clear the room first. Uh, let's start our route as normal. Boom. That's chest number one. Ether warp over there. Chest number two. We're getting shot. Get out of here. We ether warp onto this. Let me just. That was way easier. Wait, can I can I test that again? No. Also, that chest is. Did they finally update? They finally updated it, so that doesn't work anymore. Sag. Now here's the other trick you can do with high efficiency pickaxes and dungeons. You can basically walk through walls. <laughs> now. I could test this multiple times. They didn't update. Sometimes you have to flick the lever. Sometimes. Is it any easier with the diamond pick or is the stonk just as easy? Okay. I was expecting at least some sort of difference where maybe the blocks would stay away for more of the ticks, but I don't think that's how that works. Is the only difference between a stonk and an efficiency 10 just being able to break more blocks instantly? Is that the only difference? Is that the only difference? Is that it basically just adds more blocks to your instant mine catalog? Is that it? That is it. 
I'm starting to realize just how niche of a solution this is. I was expecting efficiency 10 to just be a massive like upgrade, but honestly, <laughs> maybe we'll see the true utility of it once we get to the boss room. Cause like people said you can pre uh, dev with it. Oh, it's a bomb diffuse. Woo! We, ha we, have, we have a bomb diffuse. Finally, one of the most annoying puzzles in the entire game. Oh, content moment. All right. So we get our silverfish pet out. We do this. Am I about to screw it up if I just go straight through? Or is that what I'm supposed to do? If I just do this, then I just walk through. This is notoriously one of the more annoying rooms to do. There we go. I just blasted through that wall. Let's do it again. And then just do that. Now what? Oh, there we go. Puzzle's been started. I don't even know how you're supposed to do this puzzle, to be honest. Ah! Made it through. <laughs> Get destroyed. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> ah. Can you do a normal stonk? No. So breaking the bars can only be done with efficiency 10 diamond pick and um, silver fish pet. So what I just did is actually pretty exclusive. There's like about, I don't know, 10,000 people that are better at me than dungeons, but can't do that. So get wrecked, nerds. <laughs> so I might be the skill issue here, but at least I can walk through bars and you can't. I'm taking this very small victory. And I can run right through the bars to 500% speed. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go in one of these. Good boy. I'll see you later. Have fun. I'm dying. I'm alive. <laughs> Get destroyed. Oh, he's still here. <laughs> okay, hi. Hi there, rank abuse. Totally didn't do it incorrectly at all. Now, where's the spot you start pre-dev? Coal block under red, use silverfish. Oh, 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 true. Uh, okay. It's gonna be hard to switch to silverfish because I'm combat locked constantly, but uh, silverfish, right there. Okay, red, red pillar coal blocks. Now, which, block do i line up with because people are talking about lining myself up is it directly in the center or is it like here or which block so ghost pick the coal using silverfish then it reveals everything behind this and i'm getting oh i guess i'm going was that what you're supposed to do <laughs> is that what i was supposed to do um is that how you pre-dev? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna die here. Ow. <laughs> I'm gonna use this version because it's a bit more noob friendly. So how are you supposed to like leave exactly? I mean, I know there's this here. Oh, there's a stair on the floor right here. Oh, there's a floor. Yeah, okay. So that's one skip. That was good. Okay, I didn't notice there was a stair right in the floor. That's perfect. So that's the way to do it without issues. Oh, oh, hello. So wait, so you're telling me you can just, no, 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 help. Oh, silverfish. So how does this work? So, okay. So how does this work? So I just do all of that. I break all these. And then I just run through. Bonk your head into the stair. Oh, the highest stair. Oh, hello. Oh, it makes... Okay, so it's the one that's more in the center. Oh, okay. You know what? Hold on. Let me spirit lead back. Okay, so I... So that lines me up perfectly, and then I try to break a block, nothing happens. Oh! That wasn't so bad, actually. 
So then I target this little thing right here. So that's how you, oh. And then apparently the devices in the various sections you can do while everybody else is dealing with the phase above. I don't think this one works though. No. Now the question is, how do you get through this too? Just the lightning? Just the lightning. Oh, you avoid the lightning. Oh. Yeah, only the second and third one of these you do. Now, how do I get to the other side? I noticed there's stairs here. Is that... I just do this? Oh, there you go. You go through the stair. So stairs are the passageway to get into other places using this bug. Which, by the way, is not a skyblock bug. It's vanilla. This is a vanilla bug that, as far as I know, is unpatchable by Hypixel. Now you go to the dev. So yeah, so the whole idea of doing pre-device is you do what I just did, and then you do whatever the device in this section is. That one, the lever one. Oh, there's a stair over here that I didn't see. Oh, and that's another... T okay, there's an iron block there, which also is only accessible with Silverfish and Efficiency 10 Diamond. That is cool. The only issue is in a real floor seven where you're not like having a bunch of party members just holding the boss off, Storm will kill you or at least try. And as far as I know, you don't have to go any further than this one, right? And then this is the, which device is this? This is the arrow device. So keep in mind, we haven't even started this phase of the boss yet. There we go. Did that do it? You can skip lightning with Bonzo or with a cloak sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you can, yeah, you can with a cloak and survive that, I guess. Do everything except one for the arrow. Why except one? Oh, so it confirms that you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, true. So then I guess you would wait. And then once the thing starts to do that and boom, it works. I see. All right. Well, I think that's, I think the education run is complete. We managed to show off almost all the uses for this. There's a few secrets where you can instantly break through like diamond blocks, gold blocks, iron blocks. But I think the most fun thing to do would be to try a real floor seven where I try to pre-dev. Get him to part five. Oh, hold on. There's more we can do. All right, hold on, hold on. All right, you stare where? Oh, there's one literally right here. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then we need to use the stare again, the chest trick, right? You do that and then you do this. Chest here. Oh, it's in this spot specifically. We're just skipping the entirety of the floor seven boss fight right now. We haven't even completed phase one of the boss, but we're all the way to the end here. So now here's the real question. How do we get to the M7? The la Yeah, let's go to part five, the last part. <laughs> this is a whole journey we're doing right now. This is a whole journey. Tree cap? Oh, bro. This is getting into the thick of it right now. A, a tree cap? We're about to stonk with the tree capitator. Oh, this is sick. Ghost block this stair? Oh, that one specifically. Okay. Same way you ghost pick? Oh. Oh, I see what you mean. So, I do this. I do boop. And then I have a ghost tree cap. And then I do this. And then this. <laughs> and then I do this. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> That's so stupid. Look at that. Look at where we are. This is a floor seven. And I managed to, with help, <laughs> I learned how to travel all the way to the M7 chamber. Yeah, and then we could just like use this, just boop, 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 boop. With the cherry sheen gun. Bounce over there with Bonzo staff. Look at us. Efficiency 10 diamond pick. You know what? I was a little skeptical at first, but honestly, just for the floor seven boss fight alone, this is kind of sick. <laughs> this is so goofy. We're just breaking it. Uh, we are in a floor seven. You can't get here normally in floor seven. Here it goes. Time for me to do my thing. Just gonna 
See you guys later. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, I just used my ability by accident. All right. Then I, you. <laughs> so far, so good. They're doing the rest of the uh, boss fight, and I'm just doing whatever the hell this is. No, I just dug through the floor. Nope, don't do that. Ugh. Let me through. Got it. <laughs> totally not a struggle at all. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. But we're still alive. That's what matters. Okay. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, well. Oh, no, I was so close to greatness. Oh, I didn't have the thing. Oh. I didn't have a wither cloak on me. Okay. And through the wall. What? They started the next phase and I died. <laughs> ah. For the record, we didn't get to show the full capabilities of um, actually doing a pre-dev because I'm skill issue, but I'm very capable of doing it with the tools I have. Efficiency 10 diamond pickaxe, not bad. <laughs> not a very fast run but i got a wither catalyst which doesn't matter anymore now that i already have everything i could possibly need with those so free chest it is rejuvenate well there you go not bad i think we did it that was uh that was demonstrating the efficiency 10 pickaxe we we got we got it